Okay, fifth graders, couldn't be here with you this morning. Got something else going on. And uh, so here I am doing a video after school, getting ready uh, for you guys. So we're starting on love, love cats. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, maybe you don't. I don't know. So anyways, I'm a big dog lover. I'm not a big fat can of not a big can of not a big fan of cats so um let's see eight one multiplying a fraction by a whole number okay so what it says sasha walked a half a mile every day for five days how far did she walk draw a picture use any model not worried about a model at this point but um uh, let's look at this for a second here so this is a one half um for five days so you could do it the long way one half plus one half plus one half plus one half plus oh, forgot my one half equals and uh, one half is pretty easy to add because you could um, do them in pairs. There's one, there's two, and plus one more half. And you know, just by looking at that, that's going to be two and one half. Okay. The other way um, you could look at this is uh, if we did one half plus one half plus one half plus one half, plus one half, plus one half is simply add them up. Because look, the denominators are the same twos. So that means all you have to do is add the numerators. So how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five of them. So five, four, two. That's an improper fraction. So how many times does two fit in five? It goes in, there's one over. So it's two and a half. Five, six, and a half. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So half a mile every five days. So it's five times. Remember that multiplication of five and a half. Eight times the number. And then you just put one under. So five will go into the next one. So five will go into the next one. So five, over so five, one is five. Five. five over one is the same thing as five. What if I wanted to turn 13 into a fraction? Well, 13 over one, that's the same thing as 13. What if I wanted to turn 157 into a fraction? I put a one underneath it. That equals 157. So anything over one is itself. So back to the problem here. Um, five over one times one half. Now here's the easy part. All you do is apply straight across. What's five times one? Five. One times two. two. Does that look like good? Five over two is two and one half. Okay. Check that out. Not worried about that. Let's move uh, move to the next page here, you guys. Okay. Um, so they give us another example here. Joanne wants to make six batches of fruit punch. How many cups of orange juice does she need? Well, what does she need to do here? Six times two thirds. So they've represented this a couple of ways here. Um, they did two thirds, multiply three, four, five. And what you could do is go ahead and just count the number of thirds. There's a third. There's a third. There's a third. There's a third. Each one of these yellow squares, rectangles are thirds. You come up, and how many are there? There's twelve of them. So um, that would be twelve over three, which is right there. What's another way of saying 12 over 3? That's an improper fraction. How many times do we go into 12? So the answer is we've got it right there. All right. So, again, let me show you uh, how the long way of doing it. Doing it here, 6 times, 6 times 2 thirds. You could write 2 thirds 6 times. And I can cheat here instead of just writing two-thirds over and over and over, I could just do copy, isn't that slick? And then put a plus right there, whoops. Whoops, oh, I blew it. <laughs> I should have just kept writing two-thirds. Oh, maybe I'll do that, plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds. All right, you could do it that way, take you forever, I think, especially if it's a large number. What if it, instead of six, what if it was, you know, yeah, 75 times two thirds? Well, holy cow, I don't want to do that. So, um, do we have six here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So now what would you do? You would just add up the numerators. All right, here's all the numerators. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Which we are, and twelve over three is the same thing as four. Okay, that's the long way to do it. An easier way to do it, as I've shown a couple minutes, turn six into action. Times two thirds, and then what do you do? You multiply straight across six times two times three is three, which is the same as four. All right. Um, let's look at this one that's a little bit 
at the bottom of the page here just to make sure you guys are getting this it says find 10 times 3 fifths so 10 times 3 fifths what's the first thing I need to do I need to turn 10 into 10 times 3 fifths okay. and now what do you do Let's multiply what's 10 times 3 4 times 5 5 times 5 130 6 times there's your answer it's a lot easier than writing Three fifths plus three fifths plus three fifths, three fifths ten times. Okay, that's a long way around the barn. Let's go to the next page here. Um, oh, I did want to mention the associative property here. Uh, looking at this associative property, so basically, um, the associative property states that if you change, um, change. Okay. So into play here shortly. All right, um, hang with me here. Uh, another five minutes will be done, and you guys are going to be doing this on your own. So let's see here. The first one, number one, next page. Explain why eight uh, eight times three quarters is the same thing as well. Better than it is. You know. Number two, find two times three fifths. Shade the model to help. Okay, so here's a two, and it's three fifths. Okay, so here's two fifths, one two fifths. So what's, what is, this is the model now, what is two times three fifths? How many fifths do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's um, six fifths, which equals what? How many times does five go, go to six? Once, what's left over? One five and one fifth. Okay. Find two times. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the three now. Um, find three times two thirds using repeated addition. So they're asking us to go the long way around the barn. Two thirds. Number four. Find six times three quarters using associative property. Oh, well, there's only. Uh, hmm. Well, not sure how they would do that. I suppose I could set it up like a six times four times one. Parentheses around that equals six times four times one because you're saying. Oh, yeah, no, try to this there. Okay, hang in, hang in. We're almost done. Um, <laughs> you guys don't need to write three quarters all that, all those times. I'm not worried about that one. Not worried about that one. Okay, you can do that. Fourteen here. It's eighty-four. Whoops. 84 times one quarter okay that equals 84 over one times one quarter equals multiply straight across what's 84 times one that's 84 what's one times four that's four yeah. 84 over four that's an improper yeah. or yeah. Four times eight. Eight four times. So the answer to number fourteen is four. All right. Say this more. Um, two. Two. Four. 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 One. Four. 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 That's 12 times. And if you knew your times tables, you would know the answer to number 15 of 12. Okay? There we go. Long lesson, sorry, but a lot to show you guys in this. Um, 16, I'm not worried about it. Put a line through it. 17, each lap around the track is 5 6. Yeah, you could do 17. 18, Drake is making capes. Use a third. Yep, you could do 18, 19, Bree Bradley. I'm making fruit salad for each bowl of fruit salad. He needs three quarts cups. How many cups of grapes will he use if he makes four bowls? 18. Construct arguments. Do the difference of 1.4 and subtracting 0.95 is less than one or greater than one? Explain. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll done. Write a multiplication expression that shows 10 to the sixth power. That one. Let's turn this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, does that work? 
Yeah, sure. Give me the sixth power. Ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten. I think. All right. And then finally, the bottom of the page. And what's below this, you don't have to worry about. So anything below here, don't worry about it. So number 22, the table shows the number of miles each person ran this week who ran more miles by the end of the week. How many more? You guys work on that, and then when you're done with this, uh, work on your get more math. And I'll see you guys later today.